Are you fascinated by the paranormal? Ever wondered if there's more to the world than meets the eye? In this video, we'll explore the intriguing connection between flashlights and paranormal activity, a scientific approach to paranormal flashlight phenomena. While flashlights can be purchased from various sources, novelty stores often sell trick flashlights designed to mimic paranormal activity. These trick flashlights employ a special coil that overheats, causing the light to shut off and then turn back on as it cools. This cycle creates the illusion of a paranormal presence, but it's simply a clever manipulation of electrical devices. Authentic flashlights, when used in a location devoid of paranormal activity, function as expected. However, even in the presence of a genuine spirit, it is unlikely that the entity will interfere with the flashlight's power or drain its batteries. Most of the visits from spirits lack the energy required for such manipulation. While some paranormal enthusiasts, myself among them, believe that spirits can drain batteries or cause lights to flicker or dim, such occurrences are exceptionally rare. The energy required for a spirit to affect electrical devices in this manner is substantial. This energy, often referred to as telekinetic energy, is theorized to be drawn from heightened emotional states in humans, such as fear or anger. The ability to drain batteries or manipulate light suggests a significant level of energy and control on the part of the spirit. If a spirit possesses this capability, it could theoretically extend its influence to humans, potentially causing electrical stimulation in humans. However, such occurrences are exceedingly rare and require an immense amount of telekinetic energy. The more rarest manifestations of paranormal activity include disembodied voices and apparitions, which also necessitate substantial telekinetic energy but are more demanding than the manipulation of electrical devices. The most frequent and simplest telekinetic feat involves striking an object and generating sounds with it. In the natural world, batteries drain because of seven reasons, all related to the chemical reactions that produce electricity within the battery. One, usage. This is the most obvious reason. When you use a device, the battery provides power to operate it. The more demanding the task, the faster the battery drains. For example, playing a graphically intensive game on your phone will drain the battery faster than simply browsing the web. Two, internal resistance. All batteries have internal resistance, which is a measure of how much they resist the flow of current. This resistance converts some of the battery's energy into heat, reducing the amount available to power your device. Three, self-discharge. Even when not in use, batteries slowly lose their charge over time due to internal chemical reactions. This is known as self-discharge, and the rate varies depending on the battery type and storage conditions. Four, temperature. Extreme temperatures, both hot and cold, can affect battery performance and lead to faster draining. High temperatures can accelerate the self-discharge rate, while low temperatures can reduce the battery's capacity to deliver power. Five, age and cycle life. Batteries have a limited lifespan. As they age, their capacity to hold a charge decreases, leading to faster draining. Each charge and discharge cycle also contributes to wear and tear, further reducing the battery's overall lifespan. Six, charging habits. Improper charging habits, such as overcharging or frequently draining the battery completely, can also accelerate its degradation and lead to faster draining. Seven, Application, the specific way a battery is used can also influence its drain rate. For example, a car battery used for frequent short trips may not have enough time to fully recharge, leading to a gradual decline in its capacity. While several scenarios could explain the unusual occurrences you've observed, internal resistance within the electrical lighting system seems the most likely cause for the dimming lights and battery drain. Sudden changes in temperature might also explain the flickering. However, a scientific investigation of these events isn't feasible due to their infrequent nature and the significant energy required for them to manifest. From a parapsychological perspective, recreating the phenomena is challenging. The initial fear and emotional intensity, which may serve as an energy source for human entities, would likely be absent in a subsequent attempt. Ever wondered how to analyze paranormal activity like a pro? In this video, we explored internal resistance, but there's a whole other layer to uncover. Learn about the parapsychological methodology and the role of human emotions in my next video. You won't want to miss it.